there is no better feeling than waking up in a clean home or coming home to a clean space after a long day. But for some people, the act of cleaning or tidying up feels so burdensome, it just doesn't seem worth it. If you're new to the channel, welcome, I'm Sadia. And right now we're going to explore five different ways that you can turn cleaning into a habit and a rewarding one at that. As if cooking wasn't already a daunting enough task for some people, then there's also the cleaning that comes with it. This can be enough to deter you from preparing meals for yourself and eating out or ordering in starts to look real good. To tackle this, all you need to do is get into the habit of cleaning as you go. If your meal is simmering for another three minutes, say, before you can add the next ingredient, then just clean the dishes that have dirtied in that time. Did you take the bag of spinach out of the fridge and already put it into the bowl? Then put that bag back into the fridge right away instead of letting it clutter the kitchen counters. It seems so simple, and it is, but so few people do it. It makes the act of cooking a more tidy and pleasurable experience, all without the cleanup fuss at the end. There's something so soothing about seeing an open and decluttered space in your home. Try getting into the habit of clearing your surfaces, especially right before you go to sleep, as well as before you leave the house. This way, when you've just woken up or come home after a long day, you don't need to be troubled with seeing the mess on the kitchen counter, the dining table, and the coffee table. Instead, you can just start your day fresh or just come home and relax in the oasis that is your living space. We all want to belong somewhere, and our things are no different. By having a home for each of your possessions, they'll be less likely to clutter your space. Whenever you buy or bring something home for the first time, find a place that it's going to live right away. In this way, it's easy to put back once you've finished using it. You'll always know where to find it, and it's gonna declutter your space. I really think there is nothing more stressful or uneasy on the eyes than a pile of unsorted papers. So get into the habit of sorting your papers as soon as they enter your house. You can do this using a binder with dividers or a paper organizing accordion. The key here is to label the dividers to make it easy to both sort through and find the papers when you need it. Then sift through these papers every two to three months and remove the ones that are no longer needed, like old receipts or documents that are no longer valid. Another tip, ask to be taken off of mailing lists that you no longer use. Opt to use online statements for your bills and your utilities and place a sign on your mailbox that says no junk mail please. So I want you to ask yourself, does this task take me five minutes or less to complete? Whether it's sweeping, organizing, folding, tidying. If the answer is yes, I want you to do it right now. Don't hesitate, don't put it off, get it done. The longer we wait to do it, the bigger of a task it seems in our minds. If it takes longer than five minutes, break it down into smaller tasks and tackle them one at a time over a period of time. Once you get into the habit of doing this regularly, the tasks remain small, and in that way, it's more rewarding because you see the results very quickly. Now, these are just five tips that I am sharing with you. I could easily share more, but these are ones that you can definitely start today that offer a lot of reward for just a little bit of effort. Of course, if you're new to it, it is gonna take some time, so be patient with it, but in very, very little time, it's gonna become second nature to you. At least, that's how it was for me. Feel free to add to this list if you'd like by sharing in the comment section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and it should go without saying, click that little subscribe button right there. All right, happy tidying and I'll see you in just a few days.